the contest now was through Velo News, right? It was Velo News, and it was um, the Trek Travel of the people that are providing the trip. And basically, you, it was a trip with all expenses, flights, accommodation, and the use of a bike. Everything else with Carmichael and the personal trainer I put together okay. by just picking up the phone and saying, hey, could you help us out here? And it's just changed our lives, our thinking, our minds, everything. Well, did you know what you were getting into? Like, you won the contest. I mean, did you have any idea what this was going to entail? Well, I mean, Vince did more than me. I basically told him, when he <laughs> told me where we were going, he said, this is the third week of the tour. It's all in the Pyrenees. I said, we do not have enough game to even think about doing these climbs. I said, we've got to do something between now and then to improve because I said, we won't be able to do the rides, not even close. So that kind of got Stuart thinking and then he initiated this whole thing by going and asking. And, and like he said, if you don't ask, you don't get. And people decided to help us. They thought it was a good, uh, a good story, two average guys. Yeah, yeah. Not really serious writers. And now we're getting more serious. <laughs> this was well, the guy that got me into it. Yep. Uh, I had uh, several years of physical problems. Back, two shoulder surgeries. I hadn't done anything at all for several years. And I was just not fit. And I decided I got to get something. I couldn't get out and surf because of my shoulders at that time. So I said, I'm going to get a bicycle, start riding it, be consistent. And so I started riding it and kind of piqued his interest a little bit. And so he got a bike and we said, okay, we're going to start riding every other day. And we, we did pretty well. We were getting in two to four rides a week, but mostly flat rides. We were piddling around and we, we worked up to doing a 55 mile ride, a half century in Palm Desert. And then we, uh, we did the metric century up here in Solvang, and it kind of went from there. And we were we were doing well, but still, we we were piddling around. And then one day, he he comes over to my front door and says, he was excited, of course, and he said, guess what? I want a trip to France. And he said, you're going. I'm going. No way. I said, and I said. I said, are you winding me up or what? And he said, no. He said, he said, here, here's a letter. And His wife's in tears. Uh, couldn't believe it. Yeah, so it Vince was... Vince is in uh, shock. And I'm, <laughs> I'm in shock thinking, oh my gosh, how yeah. am I going to achieve this? How am I yeah. going to ride in the Pyrenees Mountains? I'm going to need some help. They, Stuart called me up when he, when he learned about the trip. And they, you know, wanted to know... Essentially, he knew he needed help. And so he didn't know the things that he didn't know. Um, so the first thing we had him do was come in and do what we call a lactate threshold test and a bike fit. So we, we set them up correctly on their bikes so that they'd be, they're in the position to maximize power and prevent injury and just you know, be optimally set up on their bikes. And then we, we've got our physiology lab over here and we took them through a lactate threshold test which we're essentially measuring some physiological benchmarks uh, that tell us, you know, when their body is shifting fuel utilization from fat sources to more carbohydrate sources, and <clears throat> that physiological point in the body, we, we know that if we build the training ranges around that point, we can see maximal improvement in the shortest amount of time. So, based on that data and the time that they had before their trip, we put together a little training plan for them, for each of them, and each of them was slightly different of what they needed to do between then and the trip to be as prepared as they could. Sure. They didn't have a lot of time, but the time that they did have, they wanted to be, make the most out of it. And imagine yourself out there now and riding the same course, I mean, how does that Oh, that's, feel that? I mean, to me, I mean, and for me too, I've never even been to Europe, ever, so just just to be going to Europe and seeing the countryside and meeting people and then on top of it I get to ride some of the same roads that they ride and then we get to watch the race finish each day. It was interesting because so, my seven-year-old son came to me and said, Dad, I've been watching the Tour de France last year with you. He said, I can't believe you're going to be riding it this year. And wow. his little mind at seven was wow. working and he's going, wow, Dad, that's really cool. 
really cool. What does it say about the transformation of you, like your, your body? And it's created a wave in the community. People down our street are working out. My wife goes to Zumba classes. My kids are doing more. we got a puppy dog that's 13 weeks old, so we're running around with the dog. I'm walking in at the park three times a day and doing this. So it's been a huge thing for everyone. My brother-in-law, my sister's got a personal trainer. She goes to that as well. My brother-in-law's been working out. So it's a huge wave of positiveness which is so that great is awesome. to have. That is awesome. yeah, how many miles are you guys putting in a week uh, or a day? The longer weeks, probably 150 or 60 miles in some weeks. Yeah. If we go on rides to Santa Barbara, and then with a, added to all our other rides, we're riding five days. Five so days, right, two days yeah, off. Yeah. Right now we're spending about nine and a half or 10 hours, maybe 11 hours on the bike. I'm so working. A week. A yeah. week. And I'm working. You're still working too. I'm still right? working. Vince is yeah. retired. I'm still working, <laughs> taking dogs for a yeah. walk, running a business, and trying to fit that in. So it's. Oh, I get up at 4 30 yeah. in the morning and I'm in bed at 10 30 at night, and that's pretty much been it for the whole journey. You know, Stuart's pretty cool. He likes to get into the magazines and the literature and find out about the history of the sport and stuff that he's. You know, involved in. He's kind of thorough that way. He likes to dig into things, and so uh, he was subscribing to Velo News magazine, and it says, you know, check here if you're interested in entering our sweepstakes. And he says, oh, what the heck, you know, might as well check it. You know, nobody ever wins those things anyway. So a couple of months later, he gets a phone call, and the guy says, hey, you're you're the winner of the Velo you know, new sweepstakes. You and a buddy are going on a trip to the Tour de France. But you know, m my name was put in a hat and they picked my name out. That's how we how, how we got it. Have you ever won anything before? Um, yeah, I have. I won a barbecue. Uh, <laughs> well, I, actually I didn't win it. I had to lay out a dollar raffle ticket and I won a $500 barbecue. Oh, okay. So that so you are a little cool. lucky. <laughs> so I'm a little lucky. I mean, I, I wanted to win the lotto, but oh, sure. that hasn't happened yeah. yet. I was well, this is the next best thing, right? Yeah, right. well, yeah. I mean, this is a trip of a lifetime for a lot of people. And being a guy that wasn't heavily involved in it, and now I am, I, I'm really excited and, and I'm thinking this is a way of life that's going to keep continuing for me because I've put a lot of effort in. I'm not going to come back from France and just sit on the couch. Yeah. You too, Vince. Absolutely. I mean, I've always been pretty fit, but there have been periods like the short period before this where I got really unfit and I didn't like it so I decided to to make some changes and get back to what I really like to do and I, I always like staying fit. We ride the morning uh, of the st that stage but we ride the same part of the same stage not the probably not the entire stage okay. uh, probably there's not enough hours in the day for us to complete one of those. <laughs> it takes a community to lift a person to achieve a goal. And when you have a community like where we are with the with Trek Bikes, with Carmichael up here in San Inez and Wesley Wilson, when you have those people that are prepared to give you something, it's really great. And why wouldn't you want to achieve it with that help? I mean who are you letting down? You're letting down yourself for a start and everybody else that said, sure, it's here. And when you have that, you don't often get that in life. So when you have it, you grab it with both hands. You never let it go till you've achieved it. That's what I think. Wow, that's awesome.